<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit Down. So uh, we've gotten a little 29-second teaser that got dropped on us today that uh, is for a movie that uh, Margot Robbie may have kind of stolen away from Batgirl, right? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know that Batgirl really is the one that we're all familiar with leading this team, but uh, good old Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn might have uh, stolen a little something from Batgirl. But I am really excited to check out this trailer, man, because I'm ex I'm just ecstatic to see Harley Quinn back on the screen. Uh, we all loved Margot Robbie and Suicide Squad. Probably one of the very, very, very few positives to come out of that movie um, You know, was the development of Margot Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn, I'm real psyched to check this one out, man. So pull up a chair, take a seat. We're getting ready to take a look at the first teaser trailer for Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of Harley Quinn. Um, you know, a a as I mentioned, this was a Batgirl team, right? And, and Harley's kind of come in and stolen Huntress and Black Canary from her. Um, so I'm really interested to see with, you know, what Margot has going on here. I believe she's one of the main producers on the movie. Um, obviously, our lead actress. Uh, we also have a Mary, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead uh, playing Helena Bertinelli as Huntress. Uh, we've got Journey Smollett-Bell playing Dinah Lance as Black Canary. Um, and then, of course, we have good old Ewan McGregor. He's not suiting up as Obi-Wan yet, but we are getting him here playing Black Mask. Uh, and from what we know, he will be our main villain, and it'll be... Harley Quinn and the girls trying to save a young Cassandra Cain being played by Ella J. Basco. Um, so I'm psyched, man. I want to take a look at what we got here. 29 seconds, you know, it's more than I would have expected um, for this one. So I I'm real pumped. So let's get our uh, trusty little travel box up. All right, there we go, man. We are ready to get small. So let's shrink it on down. All right, man, we are tiny trailer down below us on the TV. Let's take a look at uh, what Margo and uh, co are cooking up with Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Oh, there's that big hammer, Huntress's arrow. Oh, yeah, Margo, I love that outfit. Wow, that was so quick. I couldn't I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I was it really was hard to pick up on much of anything that wasn't Margot Robbie. Uh during that kind of quick succession of flashes of all the different characters, I definitely saw Mary Elizabeth Winstead in there. I definitely saw Ewan McGregor. Uh I'm pretty sure I know where Rosie Perez and Journey Smollett Bell were. Um I'm not entirely positive. So why don't we let's let's just let's let's go back a little bit, right? I I'm gonna, I'm actually going to break this one down. Uh, I'm gonna do a shot by shot right in the middle here. Uh, you know, we as you saw, we started with the mallet uh, on Harley's legs, so that's of course very exciting because we love any time that Harley's running around with the mallet. Uh, also, those shoes, um, you know, with that familiar glitter from uh, Suicide Squad. So, boom, start off with something we're familiar with. There you see Winstead uh, Huntress with her bow and arrow, um, and then from her, we're gonna see. Now, I'm assuming that this is Journey Smollett. Bell, um, you know, and Black Canary with the bottle there, just because you think you would want to go in succession of seeing the three women first. Um, but based off the hair and the way the hair is, maybe um, that might be, uh, you know, Renee Montoya being played by Rosie Perez. Um, you see the, I didn't pick up on whose uh, cast that was until we, you know, till right toward the end, we see Cassandra Kane riding it. So we see she's got. She's got that there, and it says goth on it, um, so it kind of gives you a mindset of what, you know, young Cassandra Cain's at. Another shot of Harley with her baseball bat this time. I just, oh, Margot's style is just so cool, man. I'm really excited to see that stuff. And here's that quick succession, right? So here we got Black Canary, um, I would imagine, uh, you know, with the microphone stand there, because then we see Huntress, then we see uh, Renee Montoya. Uh, right there with Rosie Perez. Oh, you and McGregor. I, I he's not wearing the black mask yet, but gosh, does he look so cool? Um, you know, and then you get Hundress pointing here. Uh, let's see. I think this. I think this is Chris Messina uh, being Victor Zaz. Um, so interesting that he's not bald. Um, because Zaz is typically depicted as a bald man. If this is Mencia, I'm not entirely positive, but I'm pretty sure. 
Um, and it looks like he's got, you know, maybe some scars on his face already. There's another shot of Rosie Perez, and there, boom! Okay, there we go, yeah. Journey Smollett Bell right there. She is indeed our uh, rock rocker that we saw in the front. I tell you, I dig the hair uh, over the one eye and the gold uh, microphone. I just, I think her style has gotten, the style in this movie is going to be super, super cool. And like, like I said, you and McGregor, man, just looking so cool all the time. Uh, and I, I can't wait to see the black mask angle. Uh, it seems like we'll get his origin maybe in here. And then there you go. You have uh, right there, as I mentioned, and you see she's point. is she pointing to the goth sign right there on the, uh, on the, the cast? Uh, that, of course... You know, it would be our young Cassandra Cain being played by Ella J. Basco. Um, and then, boom, here's another shot. Now, this shot of Chris Messina uh, really looks like Victor Zaz. I mean, just the, the, his face, it's definitely got it there. I love that shot. Um, and then Harley just being, oh, man, she's so cool. Is that caution tape I think she's got? Yeah, she's got caution tape in on those streamers. That's amazing. Oh, see you soon indeed, Harls. Oh, I'm so excited. Good. I tell you, I, I like I like what Harley's got going on here, man. Margot's definitely got, you know, a, a different type of approach to her look uh, and the feel of this group. Um, you know, real quick kind of a, a teaser, but man, they packed a lot in there, and I love the little the lipstick uh, kiss mark right at the end. So there you go, man. That, that You got a little two for one in this video. Not only just a live reaction, that was so quick, I had to go. Frame by frame, man. Check out shot by shot to see everybody that was in there. But man, they in 20-something seconds, they packed pretty much everybody that we're going to see in this movie in there. Uh, and they're all looking pretty spectacular. Uh, so there you go, man. Those are all of my thoughts on the Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn's teaser trailer. Uh, I want to know what you're thinking, man. Did you enjoy that trailer? Um, you know, obviously, like myself, I'm sure you probably had to go back through uh, and see everybody that was in there, but we do get a nice look. So let me see uh, everything you're thinking since we went through it. You've now also definitely gotten to see the look of everybody. Um, so what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe and little bell so you get alerts every time I make a new video. Z-Man's Cinema Sit Down. I'm the Z-Man. Now, I'm signing off. Peace. Well, well. If you aren't still here, looking for something else to check out that's Seaman related, why well, don't you check out a video like this guy or this guy? And if you really want to help the Seaman out in year two, hit that subscribe button and come join the cinema sit down squad, kids. You know what to do. See ya.